I am Bertrand Chaperon, working at IFREMER, the French Institute for Oceanography and Research. So, talking today about the uh, scattering mechanism uh, of the ocean surface, we have to remember that the radar is very sensitive to the short scale roughness of our surface. For the ocean surface, the uh, small scale means that we start from millimeter waves, the capillary waves, entering the gravity capillary waves of the order of a few centimeters until the largest waves, the swell waves of few hundred meter waves. With the radar, we are able to detect the shorter scale and through this detection, we can define many applications. So, in order to, uh, to better understand the, uh, the scattering mechanism, you have to understand fairly well the fact that the, uh, when the wind is blowing over the surface, the small scale will grow under the strength of this wind. The uh, small scale will also grow directionally according to the direction of the wind. Thus, radar intensity will detect both the uh, strength of the uh, short scale waves along the wind and will be depending on the wind direction as well. So to first order, we have to uh, recall that the uh, roughness dominated by the uh, local wind will govern the strength of the radar signal. Now, when we consider a radar imaging uh, 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 instrument, we have to consider that this instrument can uh, operate at different incidence angle with different polarization state as well as using different wavelengths. Depending on this wavelength and depending on the polarization, you will not clearly detect the same type of roughness. The uh, radar will be modulate, modulated accordingly. The strength of the radar dominated by the, uh, by the uh, wind, the local wind in this local wind direction, will then be further uh, changed according to the change of the roughness. The roughness is very sensitive of the tension the viscosity, meaning that the, uh, a, a small change in roughness will be detected as a small change in your radar intensity. Over the ocean, if the uh, surface is warmer or if the surface is calm and colder, you will obtain different radar patterns. That's what we are using to define and refine algorithm to interpret radar image. The radar is an instrument that is very, very sensitive to the geometry. So as a function of the incidence angle, you will have more radar return for lower incidence angle and smaller incidence angle for larger incidence. As well, when you have a vertical polarization, you will have a stronger radar signal compared to horizontal polarization signals and now coming the uh, surface will also bring cross polarized signal that will be very very low compared to the copole uh, signals but are still of use to determine the strength of the wind speed. To continue to better understand the uh, radar scattering mechanism of uh, the ocean we know that the local surface will exhibit some local tilt. Accordingly, the swell, for instance, will modulate the radar signal because waves coming at the radar or going away from the radar will not have the same slope and will thus help us to image the waves through the change of the tilt of the long waves. So the short waves dominate the mean backscatter signals, while the longer waves will modulate this mean radar signal to provide image of the ocean surface waves. As well, if, for instance, you have change in the uh, uh, surface tension due to the biogenic film or by pollutants, the short waves will be damped. As such, short wave disappearing, your signal strength 
from the radar will also disappear. The radar image will likely look very dark compared to the background C uh, return signals. This is helpful to distinguish area where you have the pollution as well as area where you have some surface current divergence effect. On top of this, uh, of this uh, scattering mechanism, you do know that the sea surface roughness growing under the action of the wind is also breaking because the uh, way to dissipate the energy from the, uh, from the wind to the ocean is to produce breaking waves. Breaking waves will have different signature in the radar signal. Generally say, the polarization is lost when you have a breaking wave and both copole vertical and horizontal polarization radar signal will be more closed, meaning that the polarization is minimized in presence of breaking waves. Breaking waves will occur naturally over the ocean, but will occur more likely over a strong surface gradient where you will have convergence of the, uh, of the uh, um, surface current. So this is also a way to modulate the radar signal and to detect this event and to provide information about the occurrence of Uh, of current gradient. We will see also that using a radar you have also the capability to measure the change in the Doppler frequency associated with the surface current or the motion of the surface waves. Indeed, not only the ocean surface waves change locally the geometry of observation, they also change the kinematics. As such, with the radar, you are measuring both the radar intensity but also the Doppler change due to the presence of waves propagating over the ocean. The Doppler, as well as the radar signal, is also a function of the polarization, also a function of the uh, uh, wavelength, as well as the incidence angle. These motions are also likely to be uh, associated with the wind direction, such as the waves propagating at you or the, pro or the waves propagating against you will not have the same Doppler. The Doppler will change sign. So to continue the analysis of radar signal over the ocean, We remember that we must understand the roughness distribution. A change of roughness distribution due to the local tilt of the ocean waves and the change of Doppler due to the orbital motion of the long ocean waves. Knowing all this detail will help to interpret most of the radar image that we obtain daily from satellite measurement. The resolution we obtain today are of the order of 10 meters or better and thanks to this imaging capability we can resolve locally ocean wind direction and strength, ocean waves direction and wavelength as well as the presence of ocean surface current. In the future We can use this information with other instruments, combining all this information to provide application for better uh, wind waves and current information.